so here we have an aerial view of our Grand Cru in Chablis. The Grand Cru consists of seven different Grand Cru. And at the domain, we are lucky to have Grand Cru Blanchot, Grand Cru Les Clos, Grand Cru Valmur, Grand Cru Vaudésir, and also a special Grand Cru. The official appellation is a Grand Cru Les Clos, but we also add the name Clos des Hospices. What we are looking also now, it's a premier cru vaillon. Premier cru vaillon, we do have four and a half hectares. And the average of our premier cru vaillon are between 45 and 55 years old, except for one plot of one hectare. And that specific parcel, it's called Cuvée Guimoreau. Why Cuvée Guimoreau? The reason it's my father who planted it that vineyard in 1933. So for this memory with Fabien, we decide to vinify that specific parcel completely separately from the other Vaillon, and we simply call it Cuvée Guimoreau. Here we are with looking again at the Grand Cru Blanchot. Grand Cru Blanchot, it's a small parcel of 0.10 hectares. It's on the top of the hill, a very heavy clay. It's a very rich uh, Grand Cru, but we don't produce very much, two and a half barrels a year because of the, the size of the, the parcel. Now we are moving for Les Clos. Les Clos, we have a parcel of three hectares. Compared to Blanchot, which is more on the southeast exposure, Les Clos is more on the south and very, very steep hill also. And we do have the advantage to have a parcel of nearly three hectares in one, one piece, as you know, I would say. Start from the bottom, nearly all the way to the top. And in that parcel, we have vineyard average for 40 years 50 and over 65 years old. And Fabien vinified this uh, parcel in uh, three different, uh, not style, but uh, we never vinify everything all together. We will vinify the bottom separately, the middle and the top. And of course, at the end, we will blend everything together. You can see Les Clos go from the bottom all the way to the top of the hill and the domain has three and a half hectares in this parcel from the bottom all the way to the top. Parcel from 45 to 68 years old. The soil is 100% Kimeridgian and if you look on the ground there you can find some small rock, you know, and you will see here. This is the one that you can really see the small oyster shelf and this gives the minerality to Chablis. Not only Chablis, to the Premier Cru and to the Grand Cru. Now we are going to go on the left side, depending which way you look at the picture, and moving to our Grand Cru Valmur. Valmur, it's a parcel of, it's two parcels actually, uh, of nearly one hectare. The exposure for uh, Blanchot, it's uh, for Valmur, I'm sorry, it's southeast, just like uh, Blanchot, and it's very steep, and very warm. It's very, you know, it's uh, we call it in France a cuvette. You know, it's very hot in the month of July and August, and uh, that uh, Valmur, it's uh, it's a completely different wine if you compare that to, to uh, Les Clos. Les Clos is very feminine, very delicate, loud of elegance compared to Valmur, which has a big, big potential, bigger structure. It's a, it's a Grand Cru, which actually need a little more time, need more evolution compared to Les Clos or Vaudésir. Far left, we, are, we have our last Grand Cru called Vaudésir. Vaudésir, uh, for us, it's the most feminine of our Grand Cru. Uh, it's very delicate. It doesn't have the structure of the Valmur. It's more on the, on the, on the elegance, uh, nice fruit, also because of the age of the vine. The, the, the vine 
in 2011 is only 11 years old. So, of course, to keep a certain amount of concentration, especially on a young vine, we limit the yield to 30, 35 hectoliters per hectare. All our Grand Cru uh, are vinified between 30, 35, sometimes 40% in barrel and the rest in tank. But when we do talk about vinification in barrel, we use less than 5% of New York. We do use one, two, three, four, five years old barrel because we don't want the oak to overpower. Now my son, Fabien Moreau, is the winemaker. He actually took the key of the cellar and the domain in 2002. Fabien graduated from Dijon University. He has a degree in Onology, a master at Lenita in Bordeaux. He worked for Domaine Chevalier, La Roche, Fèvre, and also spent one year in New Zealand. So Fabien now is a winemaker, and officially I'm a retired person. So I'm a sous chef. Fabien is a chef, and I think he's doing a great job. And uh, he's also, you know, always trying to improve. Doesn't matter what you do, but you must improve yourself years after year because there is a big stiff competition around the world. So next time you come in Chablis, you will also meet the new chef. Au revoir.